Give us a sense of sentiment for businesses there right now and also, more importantly, perhaps confidence amongst residents. Well, the businesses here are quite anxious to go back to their normal schedule um, because it has been more than two months that most of the small companies uh, and self-employed businesses cannot do anything. And for most of the residents, they are either in lockdown for two months at least or in some sort of closed roof operation on their factories. Um, the situation has been quite dire. Uh, now it looks like at least it's the start of the end of this current lockdown. But then the market confidence cannot be restored very easily because people know that zero COVID is the number one priority in China's agenda this year. If there's another wave coming back, then we'll see a similar measure, maybe less draconian, but it can happen anytime uh, but by the end of this year. And if that happens, then all the businesses and individuals have to be prepared. Uh, everyone hoped the best, but it just looks like uh, people still are holding back on their spending or investment plans. So what do you think then that will mean for this recovery? Because as I said, we have seen small signs of that in the latest PMI numbers, but perhaps you're suggesting that you know, we're not likely to see a big comeback in any sort of meaningful way for a while. How long do you think that will take? And where does that leave that 5.5% GDP growth target that the government's punching for? Well, so far, when we look at the policy signals, um, the top leadership hasn't said or sent out any signal about abandoning the 5.5 GDP growth target this year. And there were several top level meetings, including the one headed by the state council, included 100,000 people, uh, even for some county level officials. And those meetings had one uh, major task, which is to persuade the local government to push the economy as hard as they can. And there were different measures centering around increasing the infrastructure investment. And that requires a lot of the commercial borrowing actually for uh, the local government to take. Um, the central government is also uh, trying to stimulate uh, the local consumptions, but the targeted measures are quite limited. So far, there's only the consumer coupon. And based on historical experience, these things cannot work very effectively in the short term because people don't want to spend too much on durable goods like cars or our, uh, expensive um, electronics. Uh, it depends on how fast and how effective actually the government can restore people's confidence in property market. And this market has been contributing to the largest uh, in China's domestic investment. And last year contributed about one third of the GDP growth. So if people's confidence cannot be restored in the property market, then I can't really see a possibility of reaching um, not even the 5.5% of the target, but it'll be very hard to go above 5%.